Mr. Dan Taylor from BYU Idaho with us tonight. So I'm I'm Dan Taylor, right? And and I just I love bugs, right? A lot. Um, and so I want to share some of the things that are I think are important about bugs before we go up to Yellowstone. First, first I want you guys to tell me what what do you know about bugs already? If you think if, if you think of an insect, what what do you think of? Uh, six like creatures that ants live in colonies. Yeah, so we have a real a real social the only uh, real social animals on the world are all bugs. So I think most bugs kind of live in a sort of a symbiotic relationship, but they like work with their own kind, not necessarily a different species of animals. And they have some of the weirdest symbiotic relationships of anything on this planet. Like they're they're, they're so close. Uh, butterflies have six wings, not just two. Okay, so we can, we can have multiple parts and pieces. Okay, let, let me share. Let me share a few things. That some of these you already know, but but I want to I want to go a little deeper. Insects reproduce really rapidly. Okay, so we we don't see this kind of reproduction on any any other living thing. So this was a video that I took a, a couple weeks ago. Um, somebody had given me this praying mantis case, but in this one egg case, we were able to get a, a couple hundred a couple hundred mantises out of it. Uh, but you see, when they first come out they're this really light color, right? So they're really soft. And then as they sit around for a longer period of time, they'll get darker and darker and darker as their skin hardens. And we'll actually see some of these, uh, the older ones, so the darker ones, will actually eat the young, the other ones when they come out. So aphids, so these are aphids. Aphids are the fastest reproducers of any insect. So when you're trying to catch insects, just realize that they sense a lot more than we do. Okay, we only have a few senses. They have a lot more senses than we do. Okay, so this is on a, on a, on a Katie did. This is like the ear of the Katie did. Okay, so they're gonna make loud chirping noises. This is called a tympanum. It, it functions sort of like our ears, um, but they've got it on their leg. 